All right, question number nine. It is from the topic wave, and here is a question regarding standing wave for the string fixed at one end. The total length is three meter, and this displacement has been taken as y, and this end is at x equals to zero. Additionally, it has been given the speed of the wave is hundred meter per second, and we have to see the possible standing wave in the string. You could see the first cross check is this is x equals to zero, so y should always be zero when x is zero, and you could see sine x is there. So the first checking says all possibilities may occur. Had one option been cos five pi x by six, that would be wrong because at x equals to zero, we want y zero. Now the second option. to be checked is let's try to go with k and you could see here that 2n minus 1 lambda by 4 equals to l because l is either lambda by 4 3 lambda by 4 5 lambda by 4 and you would see lambda is 4l by 2n minus 1 so k would be equals to 2 pi by lambda and you would also see omega is equal to kv so we got k we got omega so y now would be equals to a sin kx cos omega t so out of all this option when you put the values and you see for all values of n option a c and d will satisfy the condition now we'll proceed for question number 10 okay question number 10 that is again from electrostatic from the topic capacitor a parallel plate capacitor and the portion a by 3 is filled with dielectric of constant k and rest is vacuum c is the total capacitance and c1 is the capacitance without dielectric so c1 would be k epsilon not a by 3 into d that's a capacitance with dielectric and c is the total capacitance so that would be this and this in parallel so that's k epsilon not a by 3d plus epsilon not 2a by 3d so c by c1 the ratio exactly comes out to be option number d that's a cross check then let's see E1 and E2 are the electric field in the portion with on without dielectric. So E1 is the electric field here. E2 is the electric field here. Of course, after it's completely charged. So during the charging process, when the battery was connected, PD here and PD here is same. An electric field would be potential difference by distance, and now no change is there in separation and everything. so the same thing would persist so therefore the ratio would be same and quite obviously if you see e1 by e2 1 by k that would be incorrect if this is correct and now let's talk of the charge q1 is the charge in this portion and q2 is the charge in this portion so potential difference here and here is same when it was charged so the charges would be in the ratio of capacity so you could see q1 by q2 would be c1 by c2 where c1 is the pd capacitance here and c2 is the capacitance here and you would see that will come out to be incorrect so this will have option number a and d as the correct answer now we'll go to question number 11 All right. With question number eleven, now we go to section two, and it has 
integer type questions. So let us see question number 11. A galvanometer gives full scale deflection with this many ampere current. So that means the galvanometer resistance G is at full scale deflection if we supply current this much. By connecting it to 4990 it becomes a voltmeter that means the same galvanometer with a resistance 4990 ohm now it becomes a voltmeter of range 30 volt. So that means the current at that situation is this much. So I will get 0 0.006 into G plus 4990 is 30 volt. If connected to this much 2n by 249 it becomes an m meter. So in that situation quite obviously the galvanometer is there 0 0.6 ampere is the full scale deflection current and the galvanometer resistance is there. Now connecting it to let us say shunt s it becomes an m meter of range 1.5 ampere. So this current is 1.5 minus 0 0.006. They are in parallel so quite obviously this current into this resistance and this current into this resistance when we equate you will get the value of shunt and to compare for the given format you will get n is equal to 5 means on calculation you get s as 10 by 249 where n would be 5. Now let us move to question number 12. 